Let us check in now with meteorologist Ray Petlin. And Ray, boy, we've had a great string of weather. I hope some more is on tap. Oh, we get we get another day and then we're going to have to start adding in the showers and thunderstorms. So make sure you have your sunglasses before you head out for home because it is bright outside. Look at the water shining off the three rivers. This is uh, looking from the top of Gateway Center past the Science Center. Uh, towards the uh, west end and it is just a bright evening across the area and a clear evening look at this mainly clear skies just some very high thin clouds uh, as we look the opposite direction from the north shore towards downtown pittsburgh and just a beautiful evening as we have mainly clear skies now you look out at the airport and they're going to report mostly cloudy skies because of the high thin cloud cover but just know it's just maybe filtering the sunshine a little bit but that's about the worst of it 77 right now a very low dew point Point, meaning very low relative humidity. So it is a dry evening and it's going to stay that way. We have 80 degrees in Cranberry to Newcastle, some upper 70s in Beaver Falls, 79, 79 Catanning, Indiana and Greensburg, 77 from Wheeling to Washington to Pittsburgh to Butler to Franklin. Just a beautiful looking setup in Somerset, just ticked to 68. Tonight, our temperatures are down generally into the mid 50s again. So a very similar night tonight like we had last night in this morning and tomorrow we're going to get back up to about 80 degrees so another great looking day overall although we are going to start to add in a little cloud cover down to the south you can see those clouds down that way it's going to happen again but i think the clouds are going to actually stretch further to the north and by the time we get towards sunset tomorrow the cloud cover will be stretching up towards i-80 and looking at the big view, you'll see all the action is down south of us, and it's part of a system that is going to start creeping northward. So the high pressure that you see here has been doing a great job holding this off. It's not going to be doing that great job anymore. It's going to allow this low to start lifting up, and that's going to bring some of those showers into our area. So tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, I wouldn't rule out a few spotty showers up into the higher ridges. As you look east of Pittsburgh and south of Pittsburgh, but bottom line, I don't think the widespread rain really starts to take over our area until we get into Thursday afternoon. You'll see that low will start pushing that moisture up our way. So with the additional moisture in the form of humidity, the additional cloud cover, a uh, little additional heat, once we get into Thursday and Friday, we're going to start seeing afternoon pop-up thunderstorms developing. So we'll see a few of these kind of peppered around the region. Tonight, though, not a concern. 57, mainly clear, low humidity. Great night tonight. Tomorrow, 80 degrees, partly cloudy. And while we will see those clouds increasing, especially later, I think it's going to be a beautiful day. And you can see hour by hour, it's just uh, cool conditions to start, mild to finish, where you'd expect those temperatures to be for this time of year. And then once we get into Thursday and Friday, it will get a little warmer. We will see some thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon. Well, I don't want to completely take out a thunderstorm chance on Saturday. I think the bulk of the day is going to be dry. Could have a little isolated pop up late in the day. Day, but of the weekend, that's the best of the two. I think there's a better shot for some thunderstorms once we get into Father's Day afternoon. And with the Father's Day weekend and actually the start of summer coming up this weekend and a few thunderstorms before we even get there, the K2K weather app's a great thing to have on your mobile device. It gives you the radar, a future cast, hour by hour and daily forecast, and a whole lot more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.